exited that um, little creek, that little ballon that we were in for the night. And it was again a exciting exit through the bar. This time around we had a much better line and um, didn't get as shallow as we did on the way in. Pretty happy about that. Now we are out in the main river. We're still trying to make a little way upriver to the San Gambia Bridge, which is the goal for today. Let's see if we can reach that. Right. Well, after a um, more than exciting uh, ride up river, we can finally see the San Gambia Bridge. It's right there. There in the distance, in that gap, you can see the white pillars of the San Gambia Bridge. We're going to stop before that and wait for the changing of the tides and then at low tide we're going to pass it. We have anchored. We're um, just before the Sena Gambia bridge and we're super close to shore because it's really deep here for some reason. So we tucked into shore still almost 10 meters depth and uh, let's hope that we're not turning too close to the mangroves. And the Sena Gambia bridge is right there. The bridge is about one nautical mile up and we'll go there with low water but incoming tide. We'll try to make our way under the bridge. We'll uh, pull up Jan up the mast as a fender in case we hit the bridge. And if we make it, then we're officially up river. Looking forward to that. Ah. Jan is ready to be the fender for our mast up. So he is going to bravely put himself between the bridge and our mast top in case it's necessary. Yeah. That's the plan. That's why we kept him feeding him fatty foods. And uh, he's gonna climb all the way up there. So we have him in proper climbing gear. Is that tight? That's tight. Leon is up. Hanging up there. Okay, he's doubly secured. His line is here on the windlass, belayed here. And now I have to leave him hanging up there, take up the anchor and go. Hi. Captain. Captain Kira, steering under the Gambia Bridge. And it's hot. Whew. Behind this, um, our new hard dodger with the windows in. It's really, the heat is really well, crazy. When we keep the windows, we can easily take them out, but we need to have them in in the evenings and the mornings because of the mosquitoes. I know we're just too late. It's a nice sauna. <laughs> Only the cold bath afterwards. Getting closer! Oh, it always looks so different on this camera. But um, the bridge is right there. Straight in the middle, that's good. We're at low tide, that's good. How does it look, Jan? Jan says it's okay. Oh, it looks like we're like two meters too short. Ah! Don't lose the Kira. All right, we're just drifting. Oh! <laughs> Under the bridge. All right. We are through. Oh.
that was action, we're through. From down here, it looked like we have maybe a meter to spare. I think from up there, it must have been more. It was not as close as expected. Captain Kira? Yes! Amazing! <laughs> but it really didn't look like a lot of spare space up there. No! That was somehow close. Probably wasn't, but it looked very close. I'll make sure that we don't hit any more obstacles and then I get Jan down. Jan has made it safely down. So everyone is uh, on hurt, back on board. Conley is upriver. Another interesting obstacle in our course is a high power line over the river. That's one mast. That's the other mast. It's not mentioned as being that much of an obstacle, so I assume it's higher than the bridge, but we are going to go close to shore because then there is highest. And let's hope that we're not shocked. If you see this video, it went well. It's getting close. I got distracted and the high power line is already past us. Up there. We made it onto the high power line. No more obstacles above water until Yan Yan Bure. Only fishing nets. One of them is right there. Fingers crossed we don't hit one, I really don't want to dive here. Another day has passed and we have anchored just at the side of the river. I mean that is that is really neat on cruising a river. It's really handy. If you stop for the day you just pull over and anchor and you anchor next to beautiful mangroves in currently five meters of water. For tonight I think that's it. We're gonna have an anchor beer. Check the weather because it looks like it might be raining soon. Would also be the first for a while. Wouldn't be too bad. Amazing. You can hear the sounds from the riverbank, from the jungle. Yeah, time for an anchor beer. Cheers. Cheers. To managing to the upper river. The Senegambia Bridge. Soon, soon, it's time for the hippo in Hippo and Albatross because I know that right up there river, not too far, maybe one or two bends, is an island called Seahorse Island and that island is called Seahorse Island because apparently the Portuguese when they first entered this river, this is the first time they saw hippos around Seahorse Island and they didn't know what those were so they called them seahorses, horses in the sea. It's the first place where you can observe hippos. Maybe we're lucky. Check back next time for hippos. And also, like and subscribe. Good night.